A lot of people have been asking how I landed up a remote job in a top tech product based company. So in today's video I am going to to share my complete journey beginning from the scratch to cracking multiple interviews in multiple companies. So stay tuned with this video. Hello everyone myself Mrun Mai I am a working as a software engineer at Akamai Technologies. I am a 2023 graduate from Anna University Chennai. I graduated from production engineering. So my journey begins like uh, during my final year of uh, campus placement. So usually it was uh, from from the previous year statistics that we were expecting a lot of uh, top tech product based companies to visit our campus that was the time during the recession and lot of companies were either hiring uh, either hiring freeze or uh, not hiring anyone or um, most of the companies were actually laying off that time so it was very tough situation back then to for us to expect any uh, good companies to hire and come but still we got many uh, companies listed in our um, on campus schedule at our schedule somewhere back in august uh, 2022 and the biggest shocker that i received first time was many top tech companies were coming having like good packages and also were hiring uh, in the upcoming months uh, of my final year but the thing is that the only the tech people like the tech students were eligible only the tech branches were eligible for their interview process so i was like we were not even eligible to give the interview of those tech companies even though we might have prepared so hard or we might have been like good with dsa algo or even the web development technologies that doesn't matter at all we were not even eligible so i hope many of uh, people who are non tech can relate this uh, this pain so that was a biggest shocker for me and um, the uh, it companies Uh, like uh, cognis and tcs were also coming for that we were eligible but my target was never a service based company i i was only left with the option of off campus i kept on trying off campus so at the first at very beginning i tried the move approach of trying off campus i updated my resume i updated the projects that i did a very uh, much compulsory for me to at least get a uh, 6 months of internship in an any it company so i almost uh, lost hope of getting any internship in a top tech company because many of them were laying off people uh, during that time so i started applying in bulk to all the startups that were listed on linkedin so i kept on messaging the ceo of startups like are you hiring and all so message startups like startup having only 5 to 10 people or 20 to 30 people whose size is very less like less than 50 people so i have been starting i have started applying to those startups and uh, kept on applying like i used to apply around 10 to 20 um, companies every day during that period like uh, around uh, november to december kind of thing or even i started even before that like i started off with october because i completely lost uh, hope after seeing the on campus uh, placement schedule so i started around like october to december i started applying for all the uh, startups and kept on applying kept on applying getting more almost of the rejections i got every day i used to get rejections from every company because of the market and uh, then finally i got uh, internship uh, in january at a startup where i was hired as a front end uh, developer intern and the pay was very less but at least i was i managed to get an internship so that was a big uh, good news for me uh, that was my first uh, internship as a front end developer and uh, parallelly while doing that internship uh, the first two months I was uh, not much actively applying to the full time opportunities because i have been bulked up with uh, so much task in my internship work since i was not having any uh, full time opportunity till the month of january and february i was not having any full time opportunity so i started applying to non tech companies as well like um, i started applying to caterpillar i started applying to jsw like the core core companies and, and uh, also to um, akash baiju so i got selected as, but that was never my goal so then in month of uh, somewhere around uh, ja- january and february i was bulked up with the internship task i used to work late nights till 1 o'clock 2 o'clock just doing my internship task but that helped me a lot to develop my skills and how the real world application works and that ha- played a very crucial role for my upcoming interviews so that uh, then i completed my internship till may and uh, at the end of uh, and at the end of may i was having two offers one to join akash or one to continue with this internship so uh, luckily in this internship i got a ft like full time offer also but the pay was again very less like uh, just same as any service based company i was also applying to other other companies for full time role and uh, by that time whenever i saw any companies is hiring i 
I, I learned a lot of skills to apply, how to apply, and uh, some strategies to apply to get uh, referrals and all. If you want a detailed video on how to apply and uh, how to get your resume shortlisted and how to get interview calls, uh, please do let me know in the comment section so that I will make a video on that. And then by that time i uh, was applying through referrals i was uh, also approaching directly to hrs regarding the job scheduling i made my profile on nokri.com on uh, insta hire and whatnot so month of october i got a call from akame that my interview is uh, scheduled uh, the process went like there were there was supposed to be uh, three rounds of uh, interview and uh, and the first round was dsa second was uh, was technical round the third round was hiring manager round but uh, again uh, like struggle don't leave me alone so again after clearing all those three rounds i was uh, asked to give two more rounds of uh, technical rounds so yeah since because since uh, i applied at akamai as a fresher so my chances were to get hired were very less because at the same role for uh, which uh, i have already applied there were many other candidates with uh, years of experience like almost one year of experience or six months of experience were also there so my preference here would be uh, obviously lesser than the uh, candidates who are already experienced so this was the struggle that i faced as a fresher yeah if you want a detailed video on how i cracked akamai like uh, along with the interview process and uh, along with the uh, resources that i followed and uh, please mention in the comment again so that i could make a detailed video on the same so that was uh, that was all about uh, akamai parallel to akamai i have been uh, interviewing with few other companies as well like uh, simple pay or buyogo so i got a offer from them as well but uh, the best was Akamai since they have very very good uh, culture and uh, it's like a people's company so I have been working here more than a year so yeah I'm really grateful since this was all about my journey I hope you like this video if you want more content do comment it out also I would like to take your suggestion whether sh I should continue uh, making videos in English or in Hindi and uh, I know I'm not so professional in video making whether it's been in English or whether it's been in Hindi because this is my new YouTube channel so your suggestions are most welcome and uh, yeah please do let me know so let's meet in another video till then happy coding